Hey everybody, welcome to an extra episode of Nexus at Night, because there's a lot of overdress news coming out, and we don't want to be a week late to it, like we always are. I'm Rupier. I'm Matt. <laughs> I'm Atlas. Wait. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, alright. happening. All right. So, uh, so what did they, they, they announced, uh, what, Persona Ride? What's that? Yeah, so... Replacing the gift icon is a new icon that says Persona Ride on it. I think we pointed it out when we first started talking about Overdress, but they actually told us what it meant. So, your Vanguard has the Persona Ride icon. When you ride a unit with the same name, you draw one, and during this turn, all your units in the front row gets power plus 10,000, and it's continuous. So, they had a few Q&As. So... Obviously, you can't use the Persona Ride when you first grade, ride Grade 3 onto a Grade 2. Uh, if you call a new thing to the front row after Persona Riding, does it get the 10,000? Yes, it does. And no, you cannot use the Ride deck when you first ride your Grade 3. You only ride once a turn, barring Superior Riding. And you will not G-Assist in Standard, because that doesn't exist. Yeah, because right. it's been uh, taken out. So you need um, to find the same grade three, you, and this doesn't work with superior writing, right? It has to be from hand, right? Uh, it does not specify in the it infographic. Says, it just says, at least in this one, it does. Let me let me read it again. Uh, I'm looking for it. Does it says hand on it somewhere? It has like that character, so I'm thinking it's from okay hand. Yeah, because yeah. like, the translation... I guess we can wait until Friday when the English Vanguard channel puts up their translated weekly bites. But yeah, maybe, I, maybe I also can't read. Maybe I'm not... Uh, yeah, but like, uh, the translations I've seen so far on Facebook and on Proofcord... I don't know, Proofcord says from hand... When you write a copy of Grade 3 from hand, so yeah, I think it has the from hand restriction. Because that's what Proofcord is saying. Okay. Okay, I don't know where I saw hand now because I can't actually find it anymore. Uh, yeah. So maybe, 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 maybe they clarified it during the stream, but didn't actually write it down. It'd be pretty wacky. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's see, right or yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure we'll find out uh, more specific information when we get. Yeah. Uh, some actual rules down, but that's something yeah. to watch out for, but I do believe it, like, from what people are telling me, it needs to be from hand. Yeah, well, uh, the English Vanguard page usually publishes translation of these weekly bites on Friday, so I can make another video later on just clarifying this. Yeah, which is mm -hmm. make an edit, make a comment, edit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, uh, this feels like kind of like so you can't do this to turn you ride grade three, but the turn after you ride grade three, now you have 10k to your front row, and you know whatever random grade three effects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so... that, that's con and it's continuous, which means if you have a deck that multi attacks or whatever, or yeah. it, it, you still get the benefit. So it's like a temporary triple force marker across that front row, no matter what the, right. the yes. nation is. I've, been so. I've kind of been having mixed feelings because I think I understand the logic that they, they use to get here, but also, oh, like, I'm wondering how they're going to balance that, that, because if this is for the reason that I think it's going to be for, then this still gives a huge advantage to the player going first. So the only way in which case the player going first may not be advantaged mm -hmm. is if you have like skills that highly that are very dependent on whether your opponent's grade three or not. Mm -hmm. So if like if you have a bunch of those skills, then now like the person going first gets to go, okay, well I'm grade three, I did it, I'm gonna persona ride next turn. But you're like, ah, oh, but in the meantime, I will have my if my opponent is grade three skills turn because you rode grade three first. Yeah. So I'm not sure how that's gonna play out because you know obviously i haven't well, seen any cards yet yeah but so my assumption of the logic for this is like you remember like way back at the start of Viera because they had to tone back the power of everything they kind of mm -hmm. had two grade three bosses you had one 
grade three ride that was like, eh, like kind of medium for overall, but was like a solid first ride. And then you had your actual finisher boss card or that did something, but needed a turn to be set up. So either your opponent being a grade three or like needing to soul blast a grade three in the early e game. So like, I'm just going to use Dragonic Overlord as an example. Where the original Dragonic Overlord was on hit, you can stand it, which is like pretty decent pressure going early, but then late game, they're pro it's probably never going to hit. So then you also had Dragonic Waterfall, where or you you could Soul Blast a Grade Three to get 10k crit and Sentinel Restrict, but then that needs to be set up. But then that also kind of creates a problem of like, okay, but what if you're just stuck on Dragonic Overlord? So I'm thinking what Persona Ride is for is like. They're gonna have that same system where you have one kind of mid-boss card that you ride first, and then a late-game boss which needs a turn to be set up, so... Persona riding is more like, if you didn't find the correct boss unit, you can re-ride your medium card and make it slightly better. Or if you have a really weak turn on by riding your late-game boss, then you get to at least ride it again for an even more powerful turn later. Yeah. Something like that. Seem Interesting. And also, it seems like the intention is to just make the games shorter. Well, that feels like it's always been Bucci's intention, but I don't think that's actually what they want. Mm. I think that, I, at least that was old Bushy team's uh, strategy, was to make yeah. games shorter. But I'm actually just not convinced that's what they want. Yeah, this you don't think you don't that's think what they, they want I don't think that's shorter. what they I don't think I don't think they I think they might think they want game shorter, but I don't think that that's what they're actually looking for. Yeah. I'm getting like real real used car salesman energy from you right now, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah, think I'm going to go with like my the... first explanation where I think they want that structure of like mid boss late boss ride and then this is just kind of a way to fix the inherent problems with that where if you ride the cards in the wrong order, it ends up being kind of bad, so Persona Riding can help make up for it. Mm -hmm. There's also, like, you get a draw when mm -hmm. you Persona Ride. So it negates your Ride Minus and essentially gives you a soul, um, which I think was something that you didn't really have from the Imaginary Gift stuff. Now, after Excel 2 came around, yeah, the, that's essentially what that was. And Protect, of course, had that from the get-go, <laughs> but that was their, quote, job. So, uh, I I think that this is a way to, um, like, just having the extra copies of the same card, you, you've had that before, where you're like, I guess I can keep writing them turn after turn, but, like, yeah. who cares? Well, now, now it, it gives you a tangible benefit no matter what nation you are. that's I, I keep having to stop myself and be like, nation, nation, nation. It's not yeah. cleanse anymore. It's nation. It's always been uh, nations. <laughs> it's like the meme with the astronauts. Always <laughs> yeah. has been. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... Anything else we want to add? Or... Well, they also revealed stuff that would be in the Dragon Empire TD, so... We're getting four of Nirvana... Getting four grade two who made it and four of this grade one maiden the starter. We don't, we don't know what they do. What's the yeah. point? And it <laughs> just tells us ratios. Here. It also tells us that order still exists. Oh, but we have four trick stars, so you know. <laughs> no, yes. no, no more no more burn damage and taking cards out of my hand. I'm sick of that shit. <laughs> Wait, this is the wrong game. Um yeah. I, I still think it's interesting that they're doing like an uh, uh, Hindu mythology thing. Mm -hmm. With uh, Dragon Empire, mm -hmm. it's neat. Um, not orders coming back is good. I really just do more oh, yeah. Blitz orders. It's not hard. Oh, it is. Like okay, I don't need it to be like Yu-Gi-Oh and you got like Ash Blossoms going off left and right. Mm -hmm. Just if you make Blitz orders battle phase only, you're still like that's the only real interaction you have as the opponent. Like just put more stuff in there. Um, Maybe make some kind of like game wide expensive denial griffin. Gotta like counter blast two, soul what, blast two or something. I wanna know what Sunburst Evolution does. That's what I wanna know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's the their one. Their whole for thing Sanctuary, was like right? evolving the van So knowing that Persona Ride doesn't work only works for riding from hand, I think that gives them some liberty to make superior riding, which is what I assume it does. 
I am almost assuredly think that Sunburst Evolution is for Dragon Empire. Oh yeah. I mean, it's oh, coming because in the there's Dragon a card Empire. called Flaming Neo Dragon Inferno Sword <laughs> in the same deck. Yeah. Sweet name. And you know, this right? is like the Dragon <laughs> Empire trial deck. Bro, oh, I just I just heard the name somewhere. I didn't actually. Because the main character is Dragon Empire. Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No. Persona <laughs> Riding is just kind of boringly competent. It's like, not the most exciting news, it's just trying to puzzle out the logic of it is all we really had going for her this particular bit of information. Yep. And I, 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 I really, I, maybe we'll learn something Friday, but man, this, this information is too slow for me. <laughs> Hence the tweet from earlier today. Um... But, uh, yeah, I got, I got nothing else. Uh, th this is just a little bit of red meat for, for us to snack on until the next bit of information. Yep. Yep. So, um, and I guess this is the first of these little vignettes for the YouTube channel. Um, so, a any, uh, any precedents you guys want to set now before we uh, continue on with stuff like this? Well, what's a precedent? You know, the thing that people did 200 years ago, and apparently it's supposed to be law, but if one guy decides to not follow them, then oh well. So, mm. you know. What about asking now. confusing questions at the end of every podcast to each other? We could do that. Or I don't, this podcast, isn't even a podcast. Yeah, this is, right? this I'm sorry. This is for you. I, I'm, used to, I'm used to doing the thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweet zombie <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh,. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you don't listen to our podcast, I'm not sure. Like, that's probably not a thing. But, you know, Nexus at Night podcast, donate to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Nexus at Night. All that good stuff in the description. Yep. Um, until the next video, I was Atlas. I'm Matt. I'm Root Beer. And we'll see you next time.